Hi everybody, this is Debbie. Today I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet. I'm just showing this right now. This is one of my very first designs. It was part in part two of my introduction to my original design series as 4K. I am now calling it I Am Woman. After the Helen Reddy song of the early 70s, uh, I Am Woman, Hear Me Roar. That's kind of in parentheses, the actual titles, I Am Woman. This is my bling version, which I'm doing for bling, um, hashtag bling for breast cancer 2015. And let me show you a, a more enhanced rendition. Um, this is the same exact bracelet. I did it in um, the 300 count bracelets. I really, really love it. And I did it here. And I just put beads in them in these um, middle bands. And then, in case you feel this is too open and um, you don't want to, you know, put bling in, in the middle, which you just wouldn't, you wouldn't do the figure eight. You would just put it, stretch it across. Um, I also made this version which I think looks a little nicer up the center so let's get going um, only using three colors the A color which are the turquoise are the blue metallic I'm using pink for these ones that go across like this that are um, oh the pearl blue it's got the blue on the outside and the white on the inside I'm just using uh, the navy blue jelly and across the center I am doing yellow or whatever color if I run out I only have a few yellows but I'm just going to do a real quick tutorial and it starts like this you place your A color band across here one up each side like this and then four parallel ones Okay, then we will take color B, which are the blue, or they're also the blue here that go angle, and they're the pink ones here. I just think this came, this is, by the way, this is my very first um, blinged bracelet that I actually, like, didn't, like, applique the beads on, and I did um, chain, and I just absolutely love how it came out. It's kind of heavy, oh, and I added a little... And breast cancer support tag. So anyhow, okay. Either way, um, either design, this setup, this initial, these bands are the same. Okay. And then you're going to take your third color and do that. This is this design. Okay. And then you are going to do four. <laughs> like this. Do two here. It's a very, very, very simple design because it was one of my very first designs I ever, ever created. Now, the thing I recommend is, you know, always twist your, if you have to twist a band, twist it the same. And I'm not going to do a full brace. I'm just going to do a little segment, just enough for you guys to see. Nobody's there. Daddy's not home right now. Shh. It's a pest. There's a pest in the house. See? There's a pest. Oh, there's a cute pest. All right. Back to business. Okay. Zoom in. A little bit. Come on. All right. So. Just pretend this is all finished at the end of your loom. You're going to angle two bands in, put two up like this, and then place a cap across here like this. Ah, you know what I mean. <laughs> OK, 
can't do it with my fingers very well. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to loom this one back, but um, for the moment, now we're going to go over here. So we started out the same way. And put the two angled bands like this. But on this one, you're going to twist. And I'd like to twist like that, but maybe that's, I don't know. And then you're going to do one like this. Okay. Then you do the four. That go up like here, straight up. I'm trying to make this the fat quickest tutorial in one cut or one segment that I've ever done. Plus I am sweating bullets. It is so humid out here. We're having a big El Nino system, but there's no rain. I think here in Southern California with as dry as it is, if I'm gonna have to sweat like this, I want rain to go with it. <laughs> we don't do perspiring here in Southern California. Okay, now back to business. I'm sorry I get distracted, but I always am. Okay, instead of doing the same exact order right here, I found it looks nicer if you rotate it. So, so this one is on top, the one that's going this way. So we're going to do that one first this time. And then we're going to do this one. So this time the one going this way is on top. Okay, I'm going to do a couple more segments just to show you. Yeah, I've, I've made the uh, I've made it with them all going the exact same way each time, and I find I, this one to be a little more pleasing. This this pattern right up the middle here. It just looks nicer when you alternate. So now that this one is on top, this is the first one we're going to do this time. Then this will be the second one. See, so as you can see, this one's on top, this one's on top, this one's on top. And I'll just do one more so we have two complete. this twice or and, you know blah, 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 blah. words aren't coming out <laughs> okay I just like okay this is one word one two and so I'm gonna do one two okay so this one's on top so whatever one's on top is the one you do first in the next section okay and so you're gonna just continue all the way up until it's finished let's go back to this one let's turn it around and loom. It's it's very 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 simple design. So I'm gonna take these two right here. I'm not even sure these are completely necessary. I mean, I, they are. They don't look perfect um, when they're loomed, but you don't really see them either. I know. I have a way of saying things that make no sense, so ignore that. <laughs> okay. Um, Next, we're going to do these two, and then we're going to reach under here, and bring these out, oh, come on. and then these four will go straight up. I'm trying to rush this and I'm getting even more uncoordinated. One. Just make sure you reach in between these bands and on when you're looming back on this one, just make sure like there's since there's two of these yellow bands on a pin, you'll you'll be, you know, You'll just be wanting to pull back those two. Okay? So just make sure you do that. Reach underneath or inside of whatever bands you have going up the middle. 
or across the middle I should say. Okay, so we've got those four done. We're going to reach inside here, grab the diagonal. My hands are so sweaty I can't even hold on to this. Once you get going, it's just four straight up and the two diagonals out, two, four straight up, and the two diagonals go towards the center out. And then we get to the end, it's pretty obvious. doesn't look like much because it's a little section. But there, see? That's it. So, this is the design. I, I'm going to call this one version one because that's the original. And then this one is version two. Virgin. <laughs> version two. <laughs> All right. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to probably use this as my thumbnail because I think it's so pretty. But um, don't worry about the bling because you can do it, you know, without it. I mean, this actually, as simple as this is, when you do it in the thicker bands, it's actually very nice looking. It's simple, but it's, you know, it's got the groove inside there, as you can see the dimension there. It's very, very pretty, and I just love, love, love these two blues together. I just they subtle but cool. And this one I just made a little bit shorter, but also I like the way it looks. And then, of course, this. Bling me away. Oh, I just love it. If I didn't plan on giving it away, I'd keep it. I'll have to make another one for me. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. And be sure to, if you want, to subscribe to Deb's thing. And check me out on Facebook. On Facebook. Oh, not on Facebook. On Instagram. At Deb's thing. And I'm not doing this tutorial over because this is like the fourth time I've done it because I get changing the name of it. And anyhow, have a good evening.